Hi everyone, my name is Michelle White, and this is my tutorial on the dashboard application. Now today in this tutorial we're going to talk about everything that you can do within it, of course, you know, everything from the network health to the simple communication from reach, or even anything you do within the network. Um, we'll also sort of cover what an organization dashboard is. So let's go ahead and get started. So as you guys can see, the first application, of course, when you log into the Reach CMS is the dashboard. Now before you sort of log in, you always want to make sure that you are using Chrome. Uh, you will experience issues if you do use Internet Explorer or Firefox. So I always tell sort of our customers to kind of make a little mental note that, that Chrome was really going to be sort of your best friend there. So what is the dashboard? The dashboard is really designed to let you guys know when your players are sort of online or offline. Um, if you're dealing with sort of a whole organization, meaning like multiple players, not just the two that you're seeing, um, the sort of the right side here with the network health, um, that's really going to come useful. Um, as far as, again, as far as you can see, we only have two players, so I do just get sort of a nice visual. But if I was dealing with sort of a large network, um, this diagram would definitely sort of be a little bit more useful. The middle part here, the system announcements, that's anything that sort of happens at reach. So for an instance, you know, anytime we have new features, we have new tutorials, um, we always want to make sure that our clients are really knowing exactly what's going on. Um, even sort of with the holidays coming up, if we're going to be closed or, hey, we have, you know, um, you know, extra support on Sunday or whatever it might be. Um, like I said, we really just want to make sure that everyone really knows what's going on with us. And then the last part down here, the notification, that's anything that sort of you do. Um, to give you a scenario, just to sort of better explain that, let's just say you guys upload a couple of videos, um, sort of into your playlist or whatnot, and, and for whatever reason you have to leave for the day. Um, when you come back into the system, you'll get a nice little notification letting you know if that video was uploaded you know, successfully or, or if it wasn't. Um, as you can see right here, you guys, the middle part. So again, this is going to be a list of all the players that are, that are sort of in my network. Um, so as you can see, it has the player name, the status, the building, and location. Now, we always really try to encourage our clients to make sure that they really know where the players are. Um, if you can sort of imagine yourself having to deal with, you know, 100, 200, 300, um, it's really going to sort of come down to, you know, the building name, the location name. The more detail you can be exactly where it is, where if you say, okay, it's in, you know, the College of Business, it's in the front entrance above the drinking fountain. Um, you know, when you sort of come into here, when you have that much information, it's just really, really easy or gives you sort of more of a visual exactly what player that is and sort of how to troubleshoot it. Now, as you can see, you guys, this one has been offline. And then we have sort of these icons right here. So what's nice is that you can refresh the software. Now, you can also reboot the player completely or you can get a live screenshot. Um, again, you'll sort of, uh, when we sort of dip into the organization dashboard, you'll start, start to realize sort of these icons kind of come in handy. Now up here, uh, the all players, we do have a couple other little buttons up here. So you can create a folder as well. So maybe you sort of want to create folders, you know, that are based on, um, you know, fourth floor or third floor. Um, everyone's completely different how they want to sort of organize their stuff. Um, but again, that is, that's there for you. Now you can refresh the players as well. So you can sort of go one by one um, and you sort of use the icons, right? I can go refresh, refresh, refresh. Sure, I can go that route. Um, but if I want to sort of bundle a couple players, um, you can see that I first clicked here. I can go up there and then refresh selected players. Um, otherwise, if I wanted to do all of them, I could simp simply click right here and then go to re refresh players. Um, and then also as well, you guys, we do have the visible columns. So, you know, maybe facility is important to you or maybe building isn't. So again, you can sort of customize this to sort of fit your needs. Now, as a default, you are going to be sort of given this grid look. That's just sort of the terminology we use in house. Um, of course, but if you if you prefer sort of a thumbnail or like a card view, um, again, up here, you can sort of bounce or toggle between those views. And once again, everyone's sort of different, so at least you kind of have two views to sort of, you know, fit your needs. So that's sort of the overview of the dashboard. So now we'll sort of talk about what an organization dashboard is. So an organization dashboard basically allows you to see all the players within sort of a large network. So to give you guys sort of a better scenario here, um, I always try to use the like a college or a university as sort of my example only because most people understand that sort of story or, or like I said the scenario I explain. But let's just say I was part of I was part of the IT and 
you know, I'm, I'm part of the whole organization. And my job is to make sure to monitor that the players are online, that the content on there is, you know, obviously appropriate. So how would we sort of build your guys' account is we would build those departments, or again, maybe you're a corporate, we build it by location. So you'd have sort of individual departments, right? You'd have College of Business, you'd have College of Education, you'd have, you know, Student Rec. Each one of these sort of departments would be its own, own facility or sort of its own unique beast. But I'm sort of in charge of everything, right? So I'm going to create sort of an organization for myself that allows me to go to the dashboard and really just see everything. Um, the benefit of that, you guys, is that it, it sort of saves you time from having to bounce from, you know, department, department, department. Um, everything I need to sort of monitor is now right here. And you can see that it does give you that organization view. Um, these would be the individual departments as I'm sort of collapsing these. But again, what is nice about it is that I could take a screenshot and see what's currently running on that, you know, that department instead of having to, you know, walk 20 minutes. Or if it's like a corporate, right, maybe it's in another state. Um, obviously, you're not going to fly all the way over there just to see what's running on the screen. So it really does allow you to sort of just stay where you're at, see what's running, monitor, and sort of troubleshoot when you're in charge of that network. So that's sort of the um, overview of the dashboard application. If you guys want to learn more, if you guys have a couple more questions, definitely feel free to give us a call. Otherwise, I hope you guys have a great day. Thank you.